Hey everyone, it is Brian Strigler here. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I just wanted to hop on here and kind of talk about um, an experience that I had a few weeks ago and you know what went on with that. And hopefully this information will be helpful. So, roughly, I think it was two or three weeks ago, I actually made a trip to St. Louis. It's about a five and a half hour drive from where from where I live here in Arkansas. And uh, I went there to do a bunch of engagement shoots. I actually had um, four engagement shoots set up. And the really cool thing is I was going to do four different shoots, four different locations. So I was really going to get to see um, a lot of different the options that St. Louis has. Now, um, one of the big things I think we all struggle with is we all have mindsets or stereotypes. We think we know about certain places and, you know, we, we have expectations about them, and it, it might be based on things we've seen, things we've heard, or whatever. So I definitely had some um, ideas in my head about what St. Louis is like and what to expect when I traveled there. Now, being a bigger city, you know, it's much bigger than than where I live. I I kind of imagined that it was going to be super crowded. So you know, like. Um, a lot of traffic everywhere, just lots of cars and really hard to get from one place to the next. Um, I imagine parking would be ridiculous. I imagine, you know, people would just be walking all over the streets all the time. Um, you know, and with some of the other things with big cities, you know, you expect it to be more dangerous, homeless people, um, more expensive to buy things, all of those things. So I had all these expectations in my head going into this trip. Um, and, you know, I've only been to St. Louis a few times in my life, so I, I had never really experienced it before. And the cool thing is, like, pretty much, at least from this trip, all those expectations, all those stereotypes really didn't fit at all. Um, I was really surprised at uh, the whole experience. And I think that's kind of the cool thing from this trip that you can kind of take away is you have expectations, you have these ideas, but a lot of the times they may be exaggerated or not true at all. You know, being a person from Arkansas, we have a lot of stereotypes and most of them are not good and most of them are not true at all. So don't go into a situation kind of thinking these things and, you know, judging things before you've actually experienced it. So, uh, like I said, one of the things that I was really surprised with is how it wasn't really crowded at all. I mean, I didn't get stuck in any traffic jams. It, I mean, the traffic was basically the same as what I experienced, uh, you know, here in Fayetteville. And, you know, it. there weren't a bunch of people walking around. Like, I was, Friday night, I was downtown and able to go into pretty much a restaurant and just walk straight in. And there were there were there wasn't, like, a crowd there. I was able to walk around on streets and we didn't see a ton of people. So that was like really surprising. And you know, uh, we were even even in the most popular places, I did not see just like tons and tons of people. Very surprised by that. And you know, it was just a really fun, cool experience. So uh, real quick, I'm going to talk about the different locations that we went to and kind of the cool things about these. So if you are looking for some spots for engagement set, uh, engagement shoots in St. Louis. These would be very good for you. So the first one we did on Friday night is I met a couple out in front of City Museum, which is kind of in the downtown area, and really cool place. I wish we had actually gotten to go inside and take photos there, but I didn't have time to ask for permission, and I don't just go into a place and start taking photos. That would be rude. So the cool thing about this building is is basically they took an old building, um, I'm guessing it was kind of run down, and they turned it into like this adventure place that family and friends can go to. So they have like old stuff like spread out all over the place. On the roof, they had an old bus that was kind of like leaning like it was about to fall off the building. Um, there was a Ferris wheel, which I've, t I've been told actually does work. They had an old plane sitting one place, um, and they had to like walkways, and I heard that inside the building, there's just like all these different paths you can take. 
So basically, you go in and you just kind of explore and run around. Pretty cool. So for that session, we did some stuff out in front of that, but then we kind of just walked around the downtown area and used like the streets and cool buildings um, for that. Now, the next day, I did three shoots, which was crazy because I did three shoots and then I drove five and a half hours home. And the first one, I believe, was at Keener Plaza, which is downtown near Bush Stadium and the Arch. And that was another cool thing, talking about like, you know, parking and everything. I was able to find parking like right across from Bush Stadium. And I was, again, I was just surprised that there was like no one around. I mean, I saw a few people. Um, and I got to explore for a few minutes uh, around the stadium, and it is awesome. They have a whole street right behind the stadium with just cool stuff that you can do, and yeah, awesome. But anyway, so Keener Plaza is like this big kind of park area, but it's right in the middle of like all these buildings and city. It's it's weird. It seems out of place, and I'm really surprised they they use that space for it because, I mean, that's really valuable land but it's like right there and like you can see the arch from there and there's like grass areas and ki there's like a kid play area there and benches and just a lot of stuff um, a very popular place we actually saw about six other photographers while we were there some were doing graduation pics and we actually saw someone propose so that was awesome after that I went to Tower Grove Park and again, this is another giant park, like really big park. Um, I mean, we walked around for maybe like uh, maybe 10% of the place. Like we didn't even cover a good chunk of it, um, but it is big. And there were a lot of people kind of walking the trails and doing the normal things that you would do at a park. Um, one of the cool things, they did have uh, a bunch of tulips, which the girl was interested in tulips. And that's why we went there. And then we went to Lafayette Square, which is also, it's also kind of another park thing. But the cool thing is it's surrounded by all these old historic buildings. Um, I don't think it was as big as Tower Grove, but it still was like pretty big. And there are trails, there's a pond, there's this cool bridge, and just a lot of opportunity. So again, one of the things that really surprised me is, you know, when I'm thinking a big city, I'm thinking that... Um, most of it is concrete and buildings and just like shoved full of stuff. And they had all these giant parks like there. And I was just really surprised to see that. Um, but yeah, so it was a great trip to St. Louis. And I've actually got several weddings that I'll be going back. I've got, I think I've got two this year and like maybe two already booked for next year. So I will be going to St. Louis quite a bit. I'm excited to explore and see the other things that St. Louis has to offer. And I'm excited to like get all these stereotypes and stuff out of my head. And I'm, you know, uh, a place that I wasn't really, you know, wasn't really excited about. I didn't think it was that cool of a place is now like, is now like looking like a really cool place to go. Like I want to go back and visit quite often. So uh, if you're looking for a place to do photos, if you're anywhere near St. Louis, the, uh, some of these places are great options. Again, that's Keener Plaza, Lafayette Square, Tower Grove Park, um, downtown or the City Museum. All of those would be a great option for you. All right, guys, I'm excited about um, all the weddings I have in St. Louis and just the bigger things I've got going on. So check out the photos and I hope you have a wonderful day.